in the mystery over there <laughs> I, i'm hearing the lines <laughs> cool man well i i definitely i don't know if you're feeling it but i feel like we're creating a whole movement of uh people playing all these horrible notes oh yeah <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah yeah like i can't i don't know how many gigs we're ruining but uh, i'm guessing a lot <laughs> Horrible notes. That's the that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, uh, I have to say, I'm going. I'm going. Sort of. Uh, I went rogue. I went my own direction with that triad thing that I talked to you about a few times. Yeah. I sort of have put mode four and six on the back burner for now, but I did start. Um, I have findings, you know. Yeah. So I started like applying the stuff. To like uh you know you know Django tune minor swing yep uh, it's like the most basic bitch gypsy jazz song that there is uh so it's just like a one four five and a minor key like a minor d minor e7 so i was trying to see what would fit over that so i was applying basically a c major add flat three flat six uh because it has the entire harmonic progression in there yeah. And then I was also applying that uh, D minor jazz scale to it. Mm -hmm. And then I was doing my thing with the triads, right? Of seeing those Holdsworth shapes emerging from the triads. Right. And the one thing that I kept noticing is that this, if I'm doing, if I'm choosing the, those triads as starting points and using those shapes, the C with that function, that C major at flat three, flat six has complete parallel with E mode three. And then the jazz minor has parallel with A mode three. Right. They sort of share all yeah. the harmonic information. So that was cool. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah. Know I mean? It's all part of it. You find the overlap and all that with different scales. Yeah. You know? Now the other the other thought that I had because me and Nick were trying to like you know just in a traditional way without using this stuff just go through like countdown and giant steps and tunes like that and I don't know if there's any truth to it but it certainly felt like the switching right it's like the way that like people who are not hip to any Holdsworthiness uh, you know will play over tunes like that it's just basically all drawing from major scales right it's sort of switching between these major scales in asymmetric places in time right like two beats right. here four beats there four beats there um and i'm starting to think that like a lot of that holdsworth kind of switching like the thing we're supposed to talk about today mm -hmm. sort of follows suit with that kind of thinking using his own tools but yeah. it's sort of dividing the harmonic rhythm of change over maybe like a over a background that's not changing harmonically but it's you know in a, in a sort of similar rate right, right? yeah yeah that's so, right yeah. yeah yeah so that i think out of all the things in music that might, for me personally as a player, that's the thing I spent the least amount of time trying to perfect. I remember like in college, like, you know, people would kind of practice giant steps all day. And I was just like this, yeah. you know, this is kind of silly. I'm not gonna <laughs> spend my time, you know. Yeah, well, I've got three <laughs> examples from the countdown solo today, so. Oh, oh perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So I'll let you, uh, so I just wanted to kind of you know, run my mouth for a second before we get Yeah, in. Yeah, man. So I remember what was on my mind. Yeah, no, like all those discoveries are cool. I think everybody should discover on their own things like the triad thing or whatever and think about it their own way, you know? Um, yeah. Because uh, there's just like, you know, so many different ways to approach it, you know? So, yeah. 
it's not just one way people can think about it any which way they want to think about it you know it's not yeah no i, I mean so, I, I, as oh, long I did. as you watch our content before they do that i'm okay with that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah do that but uh but you know i mean all i did was take what alan said he did and then try to find those things so you know i'm not making anything up <laughs> sure, sure. I'm not just making up shit you know um, yeah so that was that the only thing was i am making up shit yeah <laughs> a lot of times i do it like with editing and uh with nick editing video and it's filmed nicely and uh i do it with a lot of confidence to make people yeah. think that's how somebody else thought to <laughs> That's just a personality thing. <laughs> it's called lying. I don't yeah. know you lying, <laughs> I suck at lying, so yeah. that's okay. but lying, deceiving. <laughs> I'm a horrible salesman too, so uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, trying to sell a book. I'm not really trying to sell it. It's just there if people want it, you know. Sure. I I'm trying to sell it for you. This yeah. is my book, is write the book. <laughs> hey, <laughs> That works Stop better. Stop mooching off of our channel. <laughs> it works better if somebody else tries to sell it for me. Uh, okay. So, okay, let's talk about some uh, <coughs> shit, the changes. I, my daughter has RSV and uh, or had it, and, and we're all here. better. And now, yeah. Nick, poor He's Nick, doesn't it. have children, is getting all the daycare germs. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Good. Whenever he has kids, he'll be all good. <laughs> um, all right, man. Do you have me on screen share and all that? Yeah, let's put you on screen share. Uh, yeah. You're there. Uh, huh? Okay. Yeah, you're on screen share. All right, hang on a second. So, hello, man. What do you want to talk about first? So, I've got like, um, I've got like, one line from um, that I came up with, well, two lines that I came up with, but what it is, is I took, you know, I took some common Messian, I took the most common Messian movements that he uses, mm -hmm. and I applied, I made a line out of it, and it ended up being almost exactly like a line in the drums were yellow, but it's not, it's a little different. Okay. Uh, very similar. Then I have a line from one of the etudes I wrote in the book, the, um, the, uh, oh my God, Proto Cosmos etude that I did. Uh, so there's a line from that. So those I can tell you exactly how I'm thinking. Right? Okay, let's start with those. <laughs> so, uh, and then with his stuff, I've got something from, I've got a line from the Drums of Yellow and three lines from Countdown. So, okay, let's start with yours first. All right. So, I guess the first one is uh, let's do the Proto Cosmos one. Oh wait, that's a different thing. Okay, oh, well, that's a different thing. All right, here we go. All right, so this is uh, Proto Cosmos, mm -hmm. and so C sharp minor to A major seven sharp eleven, and what I'm thinking is the C sharp major add flat three flat six scale into mode three into the melodic minor add sharp 11 or flat five into lydian right so if you play that line see if i can play it i'm not warmed up or anything and fingers are super stiff but uh <laughs> So all okay. this stuff, that goes right into Lydian right there, right? And so it's like three scales over three the C-sharp minor and the then C one minor. scale to resolve, right? Right. Yep. Okay. So, and you can see that, you know, I'm trying to find those minor third half step things and, all, and then my freaking go-to Holdsworth movement, right? Yeah. But instead of going could do right i went into the c sharp uh the melodic minor add flat five right which gives you that 
Okay, so let's let's break let's actually break that up. Um, can you pull can you pull up the screen share one more time? Yep. Uh, right. So so it's like a three four groove. So you have four measures in three four. You're playing. Oh, I see. So you're playing for like four beats ish yeah. for a scale. Yeah, it's really like four beats in each one, sort of, and then yeah. like a little bit more in the last one. Right. Yeah. So mode three is here. So this is what I'm talking about with like the movements being really important things because these movements. So when so like I can go from you know this uh, thinking about this scale, this uh, major add flat three flat six scale into thinking about this mode three movement. You know what I mean? So then it just simplifies, like, you know, the changing of the scales. Okay. Nick, I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> So wait a second. When am I? Uh, you stopped high. Oh, after that ninth fret on the G string, oh, I'm yeah. entering the second movement, right? Right. This is okay. the second movement. <clears throat> so that's C sharp, jazz major, add flat, B flat, six. Right. Uh, from here. To my here. God, I'm so far from seeing it in other keys. Yeah. That's a problem. Wait a second. What am I doing? that much from mode three uh, well so there's overlap with this scale and mode three these two notes can be seen from either scale. i see you know what I'm yeah Kind of thing he does that is really you know makes uh makes you think the common tones the common switch tones switch. to switch scale so a note so a scale that shares one or two or three notes that he's switching to and so it's hard to say i can tell you where i'm switching here because i was playing it but with him that that part gets difficult you know yeah so oh my god it's just i don't uh yeah, I mean, I think from just again, you know, I understand that it gets simpler uh, with time, but uh, yeah, first of all, putting it in sort of a foreign key, but yeah. what a foreign key for me at the moment, and then on top of it, you know, switching like every few beats, it's like, yeah, like how far does it feel from like being able to see that? Oh, very far, but it, it does have a sound when Brett played it. It's like that's definitely part of the whole sort of thing is that you can hear the slight distinction and like change in color, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's all out, but it's like subtly different from each other. And it, it's, right. it, it's that feeling of like modulating. Yeah. Um, okay. But it's, it's interesting too, like how inside the resolution is too. Yeah. Right. It's like completely. Yeah, that line, you know, like that line doesn't sound super out to me but um but i hear wow. like color change you know that's what that's the whole thing right Is yeah well brett you're like you're like a prostitute and be like that doesn't feel too big you know it's like you're worn <laughs> out <man. laughs> it's an interesting compliment <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're so well studied yeah you're an expert in your field. <laughs> you wore out your machinery <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you know, I mean, hopefully that kind of helps people see, yeah. you know, what, yeah. you're, what you're dealing with. You know, okay. How far it can go, like his switching and stuff like that. And, you know. In the past, examples made things more, like, feel more attainable. 
<laughs> just be like whenever I see because it's like the level of control you need to have with a bunch of these scales in a bunch of keys to understand one line that's the overwhelming part right, it's like, yeah. for me it's like I'm just like I'm still like you know I'm, I'm in this place like I don't know how long two months we've been doing this now yeah. and I'm still like in this place where you know I'm looking at like C major and I'm like oh okay I see this and I see some messy and thing and that, but like you change it a half step away. And I'm like, you know, fuck. Back, yeah. back to square one. But yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll come. Yeah, so uh, that's the first one. The second one is messy on movements. Yeah. So gonna, I'm going to show you some, uh, so I can just probably do it without that right now. But so we're going to take that mode six movement we talked about uh, last week. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So that's the first movement. Second movement is from mode four, which we talked about. This is the one he plays in the in the goat lick. Right, like that thing. But there, right? Then it goes okay. into like a mode three movement. Was it? Right. Right up to there. Then mode seven, which we haven't gotten into yet, uh, a mode seven movement. So let me see if I remember. It. Right, so that's the uh, mode seven movement right there. Where was it? So the whole line. Okay. All right. All right. Which is very similar to a line he plays. Uh, the drums were yellow. Drums were yellow. It sounds familiar. And uh, so, so you, all... you started. Uh, can you pull up the, the screen share thing? All right, all right. So, uh, battling this. Okay, so. So we got that far. Yeah, okay, so that's. From here. That's how you play this? Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm playing the wrong place. Okay, so that's that. That kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you okay. have, you know, the go-to mode three movement. Uh, now you're thinking about all of this over an F you said, right? Well, this one is different. Like it's different scales than he was using. You could do this okay. one over, uh, if I remember right, like A flat pedal. A flat. I think I'd have to look at the, I can't even okay. Okay, and what was that whole business with the uh, mode seven that we didn't talk about? Yeah, so mode seven. Yeah, so this movement, this is a, another movement he does. Uh, what is that? Sorry. Yes. That's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What right. how's it go from there? That sounds very holesworthy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I, I'm I'm giving up, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Ja. Det er det, det er det, der vil jeg Okay. Yeah, so like, you know. Thing. I guess that guy can have the gig. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is that, like, if you put that up as like a proof that AI is great, why is this, why is AI playing these fucked up notes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, cool. Man. All right. So that's that one. Uh, the different Messian movements, you know, and you could like. Uh, I mean, you can make up a chord progression for each one of those, you know, coming out of each one of those scales and play that line over it, you know, uh, or if it was like, you know, a particular chord progression and he just happened to pick those scales, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, let's say hypothetically that um, we're or using just like, a, you know, also just like a free kind of with a drummer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's for real pervs. Uh, most people are not in that situation, <laughs> you know. But like, let's say I'm playing on, again that one minor vamp. So like, what are like, and I'm trying to play a line that's sort of drawing from a sequence of these kinds of scales. How would you put them in one key, right? So it's like if I'm using, let's say, I mean, I forget already what. But this, I, so I think this was mode well, six. You would just find whichever ones have the, if you're doing a D minor vamp, right? You just find the ones that have a D minor triad and pick those. And it's going to be multiple ones. Right. Because uh, most of these, you know, so like if, you know, a two, five, one and C or whatever, you've got two mode three choices for each chord, basically. You know? Yes. Yes, I can so, see that. So you can do like either D mode three or A mode three for D minor, either G yeah. mode three or D mode three for G. And even like, you know, like the, for like a, the C mode three for the whole thing, like we talked about, you're going to see Alan actually does that in here in a minute, mm -hmm. in the uh, countdown thing. That's what he does. Okay. So, well, uh, all right. So yeah, that's that stuff. Then the next line is, uh, I guess we can do the one from Texas. So one from Texas, we talked about a little bit last week too, but here is, I'm gonna connect it to D major, right? So he's going from, this is all over like, you know, just a G major seven sharp 11. But, I can't ever remember that part. Uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so what what was going on there? So yeah, so that's uh, uh, G mode four, right, right here. Then he switches right here to D major. Okay, and this is over. Yeah, so it's just like G just major. Over that. Yeah. Okay, so that, where did that line start? Sorry, I'm slow. It starts on A, on the ninth. Yeah. And then it's going D major, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he's like switching. I don't care what he does with a major scale, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's switching on the sharp 11 right there, you know? So. Yeah. Interesting. So, like. Uh... Yeah. Would you consider it? Wait, how is it the sharp? Oh, 
of G major. Uh, C sharp? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because that's where he's switching. That pattern is oh, both yeah. up here. Now that's interesting. Okay, I got what you're saying. Yeah. So even like, you could say that he's not, I mean, you could say that he's starting in G Lydian. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Because this, this is where it goes outside. Right. 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 Yeah, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. that's all. Like to my ear, this sounds sort of like in and out, like you know, because that uh, the tritone belongs to note four exclusively, like that pattern of tritone away, but half of it is Lydian too. Right, yeah, it's like two. So it really has this kind of in out feeling, even though it's all mode four. Yeah, it's going from, uh, you know, G major seven sharp 11 to like D flat major seven sharp 11 and back. If you wanted to think about it that way, you know, all <sighs> over the G, though. So. Yeah. What do you think, Nick? Do you see it as that? I mean, I mean, <laughs> he's looking sicker by the minute. <laughs> like, well, let's face it, I'm not going to make it through this. <laughs> just look at it. Look at this man. He's destroyed. <laughs> it doesn't look good, man. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay. It ends up. Okay, it just for shits and giggles, what's the, sh what's the chunk that he's doing inside the major scale? What's the lick there? I saw some false fingering stuff. Oh. That's rolling. This thing that you do all the time is... Yeah. It's not, yeah, not not really a, a motion that I'm too too familiar with, right? That like same fret sort of rolling. That I'm, I keep noticing that, and you're playing sort of physically, and I think when I see Alan, he does that a lot too. Yeah, that's a, a little bit of a probably forward where, motion. For me. Probably where I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that stuck, you know. Yeah. So I like that movement. Uh, anyway, that's that one. So, okay. so it's all the modes. I mean, it's all the notes of mode four, you know. But you right. So which that. which mode four is this? Uh, this G. is G mode four. Mode four. Yeah. Okay. But it's starting when it's second. Right. Starting on the ninth. Yeah. yeah. All yep. right, what, what's the next? All right, uh, let's see. Oh, the next one is like a drums were yellow line that goes. Uh, so this is all over an F pedal. And mm -hmm. these are all, uh, well, let's see, we'll look at it real quick so I can even remember for myself. Uh, so let me go back to here. Right, so you got uh, yeah F Hungarian minor into F minor pentatonic into F half whole diminished. Right, <laughs> so it's like ah. oh my god, Nick, edit that out. I'm gonna. Start. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, cool. So, I, I love that. By the way, that that song, the lick that pops out in that song. So, what, yeah. what, where did you start there?
How, how'd you figure after that part? Uh, that's like an. Is that right? Yep. Oh, no. After that part. Right before that, but it'll be a. Uh, uh, <laughs> How are you fingering that? It's all this. So that's this thing where it's two notes and then like pinky flatten. What do you mean? I can't see your hand. Oh shit! Sorry. Is this or oh no? Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Then it goes. So that's all uh, F Hungarian minor, which is a subset of mode three. So we could be thinking mode three there, and just you know, but just choosing all the notes. All those notes. It's all seven notes. So I just called it that. Then it ends like the F pentatonic. It's like F minor pentatonic with an added flat seven, or with an added major seven, sorry. It's probably gonna be hard. Listen. Yeah, okay. And then it go. I heard it. It goes into a diminished. Yeah. Then it goes into some other stuff. Crazy. All right. But he's choosing, you know, all scales that are related to like an F pedal. You know. Yeah. <laughs> how do you <laughs> how do you, okay so and it's f f hungarian minor yeah. yeah all right so i mean i i don't really see why you would need to write etudes because it's like i don't know how you would organize yep yeah. switching of the information because you like i would see how the etudes like unless you're going straight up for like learning movements like at least starting off, you would have to start at the things that you see, right? Like the air, the few areas of the neck that you see and then put, put it together in some way. Well, uh, I mean, you know, when you're writing the etudes, you know, basically the way I do it is I like try to improvise little things, you know, kind of slowly. And then I just write it out and then I continue. I'll play that part again and I'll improvise from there. And then I write it out. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like a slowed down version of of it. Of, so you yeah. end, up, end up being able to see if I do it slow like that, obviously, if it's a scale you're not as familiar with, then you can see things um, that you might not. You end up being able to see things that you might not be able to see in real time. You yeah. Know what I mean? So no, you're teaching yourself how to see it. You also like how to see yeah. Right. yeah yeah and you have like time to because i mean I, i'm just kind of you know doing the the level one guitar player thing of like going back to the root to see everything sort of emerging from a comfortable root note yeah. and uh like if i were to put together some sort of line that imitates that kind of behavior uh you know so then i would have like my just like in a one octave <laughs> F Hungarian minor, my F minor pentatonic with a major seventh, and we said F half whole diminished, right? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. And the rate of the switching is not very quick, right? It's like, he's kind of, but you have to make those switching, the yeah, switch, it's about the like, switch very exact. What? Uh. Whatever the rest of it is. Yeah. yeah. So that sounds like mode three after that. Uh, I can't remember. He goes into okay. something. Says, I think it's uh, it's like a little part that sounds like mode three. I can't remember if it is, though. It might have been a different one. OK. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that I, I guess that's yeah, I keep I keep uh, alluding to the same point, but that's the big bummer about this this learning this thing at the moment that like it seems so far away to master one of these tools but the sound is switching between all these tools that you barely have any command on right you know um just imagine if you had done it since you were like 17 uh, <laughs> you know, like he did yeah and, uh you know what i mean and that's all you ever really did then yeah well you know he uh I feel I'm sure I have a lot of advantage. I did a lot of things right that he didn't do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying for like this particular approach. <laughs> I intermittent fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen him Maybe drink. I've more. seen I've personally seen him drinking at 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are some choices so that I make better. They might not be musical. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah uh okay just on the let's talk for a second on just switching things just just you know when you're playing any kind of changes there is a like you're always changing from one thing to another thing right it's like even if there are three changes in the music it's like change is something that happens from one scale system to the next scale system so those things kind of need to be practiced separately something that i'm really noticing is very like the common tone thing and in general very smooth voice leading at those moments of change like oh, yeah. using small intervals when things are moving from one thing to the other yeah, yeah. so like, and there's and it's funny because like his music has gigantic intervals like quite often yeah. but not not at those moments um is that true is that a true statement or i can't say that no there is like he goes from he goes from us this so in the uh tokyo dream solo there's a part where he goes i almost used that today but i didn't uh i don't remember it but He's going from like, you know, it's like an E minor, one of the eight note scales, I think. And he goes like one of the bebop scales, minor mm -hmm. bebop. Then he goes into like A flat Lydian doing like all these wide interval string skipping craziness. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, everything is like, you know, I mean, he's always, you know, much like you know, a bebop player or a traditional jazz guy, you switch things as close as you can, typically when the uh, chords are changing, you know, to make it sound cohesive and, you know, like you know what you're doing. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, 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 that does get that effect. Can we does talk, that, you know. Can we talk for a second about those wide interval string skipping things? Yep. Like, I've... I'm definitely noticing a lot of time like that those are the things that draw my ear the most in these kind of solos is it mostly like <clears throat> I mean I know he does like a little bit of everything but I, I'm there are like these couple of shapes that I'm noticing like again and again and again like those um, I guess sus two shapes oh yeah it's four shapes like one those guys yeah those. yeah he does that one. He does like minor triads, augmented triads, diminished triads. Uh, maybe those, are there a lot of things that he does like that that are not major scale 
things. You know, oh, yeah, there's asking. stuff in mode three. Yep. Like what's what's a good example of like a mode three string? Mode three thing? in like uh, in the drums are yellow. He goes that thing. So that's augmented triads. Yeah. Oh, that is it. Okay. Okay, I see that. Yeah. So, there's stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's stuff like that. And then a diminished scale, you know, those kinds of diminished triads that you would, uh, you know. Yeah. Or assume. All right. Seems like. In there. Uh, but there is a lot of major scale stuff, you know. So. Yeah. I mean a lot so yeah that's like you know the majority of what he does is really major scales so but it's like that's not all the super crazy out there shit you hear though you know mm -hmm. so if you're wanting that stuff then you know you got to know some of these other scales or wiggle your yeah. fingers and hope for the best i guess yeah yeah Just all right so let's talk a little bit about uh about the countdown thing now this is more for inspiration than direct learning at this point, because shit's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Um, so let's see, I'll start with uh, a few. But for the people at home, just so this is, we're posting a link, you can buy all these supplementary materials to, to have them, to practice this stuff, yeah. the for breakdowns. So let's see. Right here, right? Um, this is the jazz major flat three, flat six. And he's using this shape that we talked about. Right, but obviously the line is. I can't play So that's it. a very symmetric shape, like. Right. And he's doing a, a sequence in there. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, all these chords are in that scale, right? Yeah. So, um, so that's that one, right? It's not that difficult, you know. Yeah. The idea is not that difficult, but it uses every note of that scale, and it covers every one of those chords, right? So it's the bigger picture kind of thing we were talking about, rather than you know the way Coltrane played this tune where it was you know, a lot of arpeggios and digital patterns and, you know, played bebop scales on like this part where it was uh, the bar long, you know, <clears throat> changes or whatever. The bar, like at the last. Yeah, like the, yeah, it's like the end of the bridge or whatever going into the last. Okay. Passage. So, but when I'm, when I'm looking at like, um, okay, so it's, he's going from like E Dorian on the E. Uh, yeah, it's this and, one, and, right. right. And then on the F and B flats, B flat major bebop. Now he's not really doing anything that's distinctly F seven there. No. So it's, it's really whatever. treating that full measure as B flat bebop. Yeah. Yeah. And then he starts the E flat seven here. Uh huh. Right. And it's all whole tone. Yeah. And then okay. And then this crazy line is this one over here. So you got E mode six movement that we talk about. Right, then it goes into mode three. So this is B flat mode three. So you've got the F triad is covered, right? The seventh isn't, but the, uh, uh, the triad is covered. The B flat major triad is covered. Uh, the E flat, I just think he's still, he's extending this into here, even mm -hmm. though he ends up playing the ninth sharp 11, 11 and flat nine, if you want to think about it that way. I don't think he starts to think about E7 until here. Uh -huh. right? And he plays parts of Mixolydian and he goes into Dorian <clears throat> and then back to B flat major. 
And then he's just playing really basic major scale stuff right here. Very simple. Yeah. You know? Good. When you're playing like those, those, when you're playing tunes that tempo with the chords changing that fast, it's like yeah. playing major scale is not simple at all. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Right, like, yeah, the ideas are simple, though, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah no, no, I understand. It's something just been super crazy, you know? Yeah. So. If he did not put this album out, I feel like uh, like about half of his collegiate audience would not be on board. <laughs> just like proof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, I mean, you can see like clear as day what's going on. He's catching everything, <laughs> making logical choices. Um, you know, it all makes sense. Yeah. You know. All right. Shit. <laughs> We're gonna have to sit with that. Yeah, that's those three. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the we talk about that one we did last time with the Daryl. Uh, Daryl Gable's transcription because I figured out I had a mistake in there, so we might as well cover that. Okay. Uh, so when I was calling this diminished, right, I didn't carry over the E flat from here. So these are actually E flat, which changes this to A flat harmonic minor. This is this is which solo again? This is on Devil Take the Highmost live. Wow. And um, all of these scales, like we talked about this one, but you know, this has like uh these all have a minor triad, G minor triad. Here he's just sidestepping into A flat harmonic minor, you know, A flat minor uh -huh. back to G, you know. But since I realized that that I had that wrong initially, um, whose transcription is this? Daryl Gable. I'm not sure if I know him. Yeah, he does a lot of Holdsworth stuff, man. Covers and lessons and okay, got like a lot of subs. I'm surprised you don't know him. Uh, okay. But, Anyway, he's a good friend of mine. Um, a fellow uh, Texan? No, he's from Florida. Oh, okay. I've known him since the 90s. So, like, Mike Varney hooked us up and tried to create, like, a Racer X, the next Racer X or something, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out, but. <laughs> yeah. All right. Whew. So. Yeah, I guess my, other than writing etudes, uh, if I were to start, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, you answered this many times, but let's just for a second do this together. Like if I'm trying to work on changing what I'm doing between two things, now let's, ju let's just make an arbitrary choice d minor vamp let's take like you know some mode three into some other thing like so like d mode three so like i mean jazz major flat three flat six you could do into like uh mode three right d so mode three. so like if uh probably something like uh you could do well you could use these movements into like uh, my go-to, right? And there I landed on the seventh. Mm -hmm. right, you know? So, I mean, that's what I see, right? <clears throat> I see these shapes. So I'm in that. And then when I want to go to D mode three, I'm just going to see the things I see, right? Which is all that, like those, that movement. And then like all... You know okay so you were seeing you know, you started off doing what exactly I just... yeah maybe okay so Hand. Oh yeah, so uh there we go. Yeah. All right. I see. Is 
Is that right? Did it? What? The, the, the movement you're doing in mode three there. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Play it. Oh. I see. Yeah. Back to D minor. Might go into Dorian or whatever, right? So there you play. All right. So minor yeah. flat three, flat six, right? C jazz or major add flat three. No, flat the three. beginning I see, yeah. Uh, the movements in mode three are still, are still a huge blind spot. Into D Dorian. You're, can you just play that home, like when you extend that mode three movement from here, like and play it kind of in that horizontal pattern? Oh, so after you do that initial, and then it's just that thing? Yeah. Yeah, try it. I see. There you go. Yeah. Now, are you are you using your? Sometimes middle? I do. Yep. Yeah. Is that it? Good movement. backing track pulled up hold on this this is gonna be sick this is gonna be sick dog you're gonna love this <laughs> one sec let's let's see uh. all right so we're, ta we're talking about like uh, slow motion about to see Eddie Murphy arrest some people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, okay, so it's, uh, yeah, still feeling pretty far from being able to switch in time, but, I, but I'm, okay, but I'm seeing. So connecting vocabulary from like these shapey things and here I was not doing it right. I went to the wrong place. Something, something like that, right? Yeah, that would work. 
All right. Yeah. So, Britt, when you and Thomas, like, uh, you said, like, you know, obviously you spent more time on the scales, but you said you'd, like, kind of, like, tackle a new scale each week and then, like, try to, like, you know, jam and improvise within that scale. Were you also, like, on that kind of schedule with Thomas, like, trying to connect other scales or did was it a, did you wait until later to oh, do yeah that? we'd sit in one scale for a while before we started yeah. trying to switch like in. once a while so, i don't know man like uh i mean it's i can't remember i mean okay it could, been, could have been a month could have been you know like the with those messian modes i mean obviously you know uh, I'm writing an etude, and then I'm giving it to him, and I'm asking him to write one. Then he comes back. We're we're experimenting with that scale, uh, and then for his next lesson, you know, I'd have another one of one of the other scales. So we might jam on that scale a little bit the, from the previous week before I showed him the new one. Mm. Right? And then uh, by the time we got to, I'd say mode seven, we had probably started trying to connect those, you know. Like, let's be in this. So one of the things we do is like, I'll play like, I'll say, you know, cause it's just the rubato, right? And we're just trying to hear the sounds. Like we want to hear the sounds. You want to hear how they're moving uh, from one to the other. So I would say if I'm comping or whatever, I'm going to play three voicings in each sound. So mm. once you've heard three voicings in this sound, that means we're switching. The next chord I play is going to be part of whatever other mode we chose, you know? Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of that thing. And that's how we did that thing the other, when you got yeah, yeah. What did you play? Yeah. He, he yeah, knew how many cool. voicings I was going to play <clears throat> before I switched to the next scale. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, no, that's cool. So, um, okay. Now, just thinking out loud, like, if I want to apply the lick that you showed us from mode, six over that G Lydian to like a D minor vamp, I would have to start it on the note G, right? Which one? Like th this one. Like in a D Dorian context. Would oh, yeah, it started on G, yeah. Hold on one second. It started on D flat, right? Like it oh yeah, yeah, on the chart. Yeah. Tri Oh, so it's taking a half step it down. Start it either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah that could be a good way to think or, about it. Oh, yeah, the four. So. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I am growing powerful. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a sea floor, just like oh. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> the dark side of harmony. <laughs> yep. uh, but hopefully, man, like that's those examples like help you see, you know how I can. I so do. I. I just, you know, I'm really bad at pretending I understand something when I don't. But I go from like a realm of complete chaos to a realm of like, oh, that's just blah, blah, blah. And it's just a collection of like aha moments like that. So like, I don't know what, like, it's weird. I just need some sort of entry point to an idea. And for me, for me personally, I mean, I just, you know, I've been, I've like, you know, like many people watching and like you have been doing this a long time. So it's like, you, you cannot account for your way of learning right it's just yeah. i know for a fact that like for me if i learn a huge chunk of music and then analyze it i tend to not be able to see things it's just it doesn't fit with my with with, with how i'm wired but if i make sense of the smaller chunks mm. And, you know, and kind of approach it that way, like learn a three beat, four beat thing that gives me an access point where I can start like I can start sabotaging my own gigs. Yeah. Efficiently, you know what I mean? It's like I can I can start throwing it in. And it's like if I throw it in and fail enough times, 
little things stick. But yeah, like learning big chunks, it's just, it's not for me. But uh, some people, that's how they learn. So it's like, if that's what you need to do, like, you know, do whatever the materials there. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, there's no right or wrong way to approach it, really. I don't think you just. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wrong. <laughs> I love it. No, it's, it's great. Um, trying to be positive over here, man. <laughs> you're the only one, dude. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, it's no, it's honestly, I I already see so much compared to what I saw before we started. Like, and I did not, I did not think that. Uh, I, I did. I, I did not imagine that some of these options already would become available to me. I'm still, like, you know, at the very beginning of scratching the surface of this. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm starting to see it. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much for the people listening. The links will be provided below. Uh, you can buy the book from Brett. You can buy the package for the lesson from Brett. Also. Um, all the proceed goes to charity. No, kidding. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Thank you for listening. Uh, see you next time.